As you can probably tell, Movember's in full swing, and at Formnext 2025, Anycube have just shown off their new resin printer that's coming out soon, the Photon P1. And this is probably the first resin printer for quite a long time that's coming out that I'm really excited about. Firstly, it looks awesome, which I know is not really important, but it definitely helps. But it's got all the things we'd expect from a really high-end resin 3D printer. It's got a ball screw which should make layer height really, really precise, eliminating printing lines. And for me, it's got one of the most important things for printing consistency, which is a heated resin vat that comes as standard. And then comes the exciting bit. It's got a screen that's meant to be particularly accurate. And on top of that screen, it's got these like little dimples from the look of it. And they're saying that that's gonna reduce the peel force as your build plate moves up by up to 60%, meaning that you can have smaller supports or less supports, meaning less damage or work on your models after they're printed. It also means that a huge range of resins, some of which you can't use on other printers, are suddenly available to you. And that leads to the last thing that I'm really, really hyped about. Not only do you get your standard big tank, so you can do large models and things like that, but it also has this dual tank system, which you can give different settings. Now they keep saying about this being able to mean that you can print in dual colors, and I couldn't care less about that. That seems like a massive gimmick to me. But what is exciting about that is it means that we can put different resins in each of those tanks, or just one of those tanks if you don't want to use a lot of resin. But for me, that is ideal. I'm always wanting to print miniatures, where I'm having to make compromises. I'll use a resin that's as detailed as I can get, but also allows some flexibility for thin weapons. Whereas with this, I can print the main body in the most detailed resin I can find, which is often a little bit more rigid, and then just print the weapons at exactly the same time in that flexible resin from the look of it. And it means we're not gonna have to swap out tanks as you want to do different parts of your model, which for me is why I don't bother with it. It's too messy, it's annoying. Now, one way or another, I'm getting this printer. So if you've got any questions you want me to answer when I do a review of it, please put them in the comment section. I'm also gonna put a link in the description and also one in my bio on Instagram, if that's where you're watching this, where you can pay a $10 deposit for this and then it gives you a price of $449 guaranteed, which is a massive saving over the full price cost of this printer. And with the new technologies this is bringing, seems like a really good price. And even if you decide you don't want the printer in the end, they say they're gonna give you a $15 coupon on the Anycubic store, so you're gonna be making like 50% extra off of your money that you spend on this anyway, so you can't really lose out. Anyway, let me know what you wanna know about this printer in the comment section, and I'm really looking forward to reviewing this.